Hello everyone, this is Stevio here. So today we got a busy day. So we need to fill our new feedlot with cattle. We need to pick up some cattle. So I ended up getting a good price on a cattle trailer. We gotta go pick that up from the dealer. But first, we have to start getting some anhydrous put down into our field we just combined so we need to get that planted with some soybeans so let's get the hired hand started on that first and then we'll go pick up our new trailer oh by the way I just got me a new work truck here love these old Fords so I know a lot of people give me a lot of hard time for all the Fords I have on my farm here so you would probably not even guess my daily driver mm, it's not a Ford I can tell you that so we will grab the 8330 go get the anhydrous bar here hook up to one of the tanks. I believe they are full. Not sure. Back up nice and easy. Yep. That one is full. So we'll start heading to our field here. Over there to the side, that's our new pins we just put in. In case you didn't see that bid. Do a little first person action here. A lot of people like this so the reason why I don't do a lot of first person is you just really don't see a lot yeah it's more realistic and make sure I put my blinkers on and everything but you just can't see the scenery as well so as for making a video I don't think it makes that great of a video outside the cab even though it's not as realistic but it's what people want to see too they want to see the scenery and two then makes it dark in there nice tinted glass on this 8330 turn off my blinkers and unfold the toolbar hoping this will work with course play So when you hit course play, the easiest way to find your field is just do that. Just click on it. We will do about four headlands. That is definitely not 36 meters. Whoa. I'm going to have to check. Problem is, I don't know exactly where this is at. I'm hoping it's here. 15 meters. All right. Bad part is you got to click it all the way down one tenth of the time.
bad giants doesn't make a quick way to do this. Alright, smooth. We are good to go. It's thinking. There we go, that course looks good. Uh oh, I guess it is working. I didn't think it was working there for a second. Right around here. I don't know. Oh, it is working. That's good. I didn't think it was there for a second. Don't know if it is 15 meters or not. Who here is looking forward for the unit convert mod? I can't wait for that mod to get out. I've seen some teasers of it out, but I haven't seen it released yet. That was one of my favorite mods in 17. And that came out at the end of the time. Looks like this toolbar is really pulling that uh, 8330 hard. Must be, uh, need a tune up. Either that or we're putting it in pretty deep. Really a shame this one set of duels on this tractor doesn't uh, get dirty really hurts the look of this mod. So this field off to the left of me is a field I really like to purchase one day. We are going to have to make the big bucks there to get that field probably have to purchase many smaller fields before we get to that field. It's, it's 1.2 or 1.1 million. I think it's 140 acres. Alright, so while the hired hand is doing that, we are going to jump back So now we need and of course if I'm gonna drive my favorite truck unhook the grain trailer so we sold all of our grain, that's why we have some more money. Now we will head towards the shop, pick up our cattle trailer, and then we'll head over to the livestock barn and go buy us some yearlings. Because we got to fatten them up.
right, now we are headed back into our driveway here. Take that corner wide. Oh yeah, don't want to jackknife this trailer. These cattle are definitely weighing it down. So, probably gonna unload majority of them just in these front two pins. not have we will have to purchase feed for them right now because we need to make some basically food food for the cattle I, I want to plant some grass somewhere we'll put 25 in that pen know if we can make that we're gonna have to back this old girl up and I'm glad they put this Wilson trailer in the game there's only the one thing I can't stand with the in-game trailer is the capacity's way off so where's the in-game trailer So I know this is probably meant to be cattle or cow calf, but 12? We used to haul 12 in a gooseneck. Cow calves, you know, mothers, you know, three year old mothers weighed somewhere 1800 pounds, some of them did, so that is way under. So it's more like 40. I can't remember the exact number of yearlings one of these would hold, but it's almost triple that, not quadrupled. This one I uh, changed the scripts around. That's another thing I don't like about FS19 is whoever worked at a feedlot where you had to bring water to the cattle. Um, unless it's like secondary emergency procedures, I can see you having a water tank for that in case a water line busts or something like that. but. Otherwise, you just have a direct water supply to the cattle. You don't haul water to them. Only time I ever hauled water to the cattle was when we used to run them on corn stalks, and that's just because it was temporary. go 25 in each so I think I'll park this trailer up here on this Quonset over here by our beautiful John Deere planter We're going to have to get that planter ready too because it needs to plant some soybeans here soon. Oh, a little bit too far there. Now We have to make sure they have water.
so I'll have to change the mod I had. The mod I had did not have the Sarui tank or the milker primarily because it was made to be a feedlot. But being as I'm running the tournament, I had to download them mods and I didn't realize it was overriding this so I will change that back so I prefer the mod I have so Unfortunately, I'll have to figure. I know how I can do it. I'll, I'll have to change this and then. Ooh, I guess rewrite it. So. Might have to wait until after the tournament and then I'll change it back. So. Just the way it is, so don't get that mod. Because I'm not, I want this to be a feedlot. So when I built this, you can tell that these slurry and the milker wasn't there. But oh well, easy change. I'll just have to wait until I have to determine it. Probably just leave it outside because I don't like it. Actually, I'm going to park it back in here. There we go. Let's jump over to our and Hydra's toolbar here. Our black wheels, still black. No dirt. I was worried it was leaving a little gap because on the ground you can tell that it's leaving a little bit, but according to the map it's getting all fertilized. So we will hook up our 1770 planter onto our old iron reliable 4955. May have to stare at the exhaust the intake of this tractor but it is one good driving power shift 
tractor out there. Spent many hours in one of these. And in my opinion, it's a better ride than the uh, 7140 was. But that's just my opinion. So we will take this over to the garage, get it changed over to soybeans, park this bad boy up, make sure the planter controller and everything, get it running, get it in our the new tractor cab. go. A little bit of trouble backing it up there. There we go. So now we can get that ready. So we are ready. Also, we need to get the seed tender hooked up. What is this? Is this a Chevy? It's a Duramax. Huh. How'd this get on the farm? Duramax. Can't beat that Allison transmission, that's for sure. So let's get over here. Pick up our seed tender. See there, buddy. All right, looks like we are already filled up, so we will just leave this parked here. So, I know a lot of people on the equipment tour said that this is a cab over. Well, you are correct, that is a cab over. Where I grew up, they called this a suicide cab. And primarily that's because the survival rate of a head-on collision was, you know, low, let's just say it, so. But that's not the political correct way of calling it. Political correct way name is Cavalry. So I wanted to... We need to feed our cattle, so we are going to have to purchase some um, feed here. Like to get two loads. of feed for them. Put this, I think, right here. I'm gonna have to change that. Don't like the looks of that at all. So now we will jump in our 20 series over here. We will put a few loads of feed into our, our cattle. Yearlings, I can hear them bawling. So 
So this is uh, Anderson Smart Mix. Never ran one of these shredder feed wagons before. So if you guys run this TMR station like this, just remember the TMR doesn't have a stop trigger. So basically it'll just keep taking your money. So I know this is not the most realistic, but if farmers were in a pinch, they would buy their cattle feed from some place so basically we are in a pinch we don't have the feed and uh is that if that's oats over there i guess we could swap that forgot that is oats over there that's another thing we will get on our next day yeah the the feed lot that I had didn't have these marker edges or anything so I really liked it because of that so it looked way more realistic. And boy do these cattle take a lot of feed and 19. Man do you have to put a lot of feed in the mouth. like a whole day job me I just honestly feed a few loads every day and call it good just like real feedlot stew feed twice a day usually which very few operations have six to ten days of feed they could give to their cattle. I've never seen one or heard of one, but I get it for farming simulator mecha mechanics. It kind of has to happen, otherwise all you'd be doing is feeding all the time, but Really looking forward to seasons coming out. I'm surprised it's taken so long because it was Giants put it in game. So, unfortunately, they didn't put it in 19, so we have to wait. So, once seasons came out, I did not even play without it. I was not. Once it came out, it just was so realistic where I just had to play with it. Brought so much more to the game. Snow removal, worrying about your hay staying on the field too long. You know, seasons, basically how you are going to manage your crops. Definitely brought new challenges and definitely a benefit. Alright, I think we will just give two loads for today. Be a good enough fee for one afternoon. Oh, I can't reach the trigger. I thought this thing had spouts on both ends. Huh. I'm gonna have to back it up here. 
sorry this isn't very much realistic, but I was going to try to back it up, swing around the other end. But this will do. Come on over here, cattle. Get your feed. Giving them so little where you don't even see it in the troughs. It's invisible feed. Well, we need to mow in front of our driveway here. So we will take down the bat wing mower. The 4155. getting a little bit too brushy around here. We need the brush hog. Get this nice and cleaned up. There we go. I really like this thing because it doesn't leave the clippings. Maybe one day we'll have to put some rock down for this drive. Or at least get a road grader or something to keep our road. Nice. back up here get as much as possible and we'll go around here we weren't let's say I guess we're not that high speed where we don't go and move all of our equipment mow around them but Some of this mowing in. There we go. There. Didn't quite get all that by the. Oh, there we do. Probably should be good stewards of the road and mow by the road too. We are not going to go as far as to mow all of our field ditches though, so sorry. That's a little bit too far for me. I know one thing I hated mowing ditches when I was younger. So it always seemed like I would get the most deepest ditch where the tractor is always at an angle and when you're sitting up in these high tractors, you could be at like a 15% decline. But in that seat, it feels like you were 40%. Like, you feel like you're about ready to tip over. At least I did. I hated that feeling. I thought I was going to die. But, still here, so obviously it wasn't that deep. There's many times I would like stop the tractor, get out, and actually look at it. Just so I could feel better about the what I was doing. Now 
many of you young folks or old folks have to mow the ditches or had experience of tipping over a tractor while you're mowing the ditches? That's basically a lot of my job. I worked for one of the farmers. He was definitely liked clean fields and clean uh, farmyard so we would mow around all his circles, all his pivots which was never bad, that was easy, I enjoyed that other than always finding the old uh, fence wire out there didn't matter when or how hard you look for it, you always find it. And talk about a pain. This is starting to look, yeah, way nicer right here. Don't know why this is pulling the 4440 doesn't like pulling this rhino more. Might have to go hook up my the Massey to it. Even though that would be a shame. And a disgrace to our John Deere. get this the best thing about these bat wings they're so easy just to back up get nice and deep especially if you don't want your tractor tires getting into them sharp brush weeds most of the back tires of a bat wing aren't they're just solid rubber for that because they take a beating Ooh. probably should unhook the motor for at least Getting around these trees and everything. I guess the loader is good in case we have to move a tree branch, though. We will leave this over here to get washed again. Go jump in our old trusty reliable farm truck. Love the way this old Ford sounds. Oh, oh, wasn't paying attention. I was paying attention to my interior. Got caught. Paying attention to the interior of this thing. Wouldn't mind having that piece of land across the street there. That would be a nice little grass field to have. Not sure on the price of that. Have a nice little barn with it. Don't know if that would be much use to us. To 
never had too much storage on a farm though. Probably end up just planting the whole thing into grass. So, we uh, got some cattle, got some yearlings, so hopefully they grow quick so we can make some money off of them. So, thanks for watching, and I will see you later.